The kind of eyes that Wani gave to Toke Makinwa when Toke Makinwa told Wani, Wani, it's like we are going to share this your show. No, the kind of side eye that Wani gave her, you will know that Wani doesn't play with her show. Anyway, guys, what up, what up, what is happening? Like, what Biggie has not done in this season nine does not exist. Like, Biggie has literally played all the cards even the twist of season 10 biggie has used it in this season 9 and still yet this housemates are not doing anything about it anyway the housemates had a guest today and the guest is toke makinwa toke makinwa is also doing a show for big brother niger called the boss okay that is where they talk about the doings of the housemates okay anyway that aside Toke Makinwa brought good tidings for the housemates, brought tea for them. And this tea is telling them that they are boring, telling them that they need ginger. They need to spice up the whole show, that everything is just on shutdown. Hmm. Anyway, we'll come back to that. All you need to do now is to support our voting power with the account number on your screen. That is where you put any amount just for us to get more IEC numbers, more SIM cards. You all know what is happening in this country with SIM cards. Please send in your token so that we can vote more. And we also want the deserving finalists, five finalists and also a deserving winner. We'll get also a voting center where we can vote back to back. Okay, guys. Anyway, coming back to Toke Makinwa visit to the housemate. You all know that Toke Makinwa, it's not even hidden that she likes Sean. In her show, she revealed that Sean is her boy. And immediately she came into the house, she went straight to hug Sean. I don't even know if it's a coincidence or something, but guys, Sean is using Toke Makinwa's perfume. In case you don't know, this lady has a handbag brand and also a perfume brand. Ben was like, ah, ah Toke Sean is using your perfume more, so I think that maybe they know themselves before or something, but let's see how it goes. Anyway, Toke Makinwa asked Wani, who among the girls do you connect with the most? Wani said that it's Onyeka, that Onyeka has the charisma, she can hold conversation, but she gets this repelling energy from Onyeka, that Onyeka lies a lot. Like anytime she talks with Onyeka, she doesn't feel the, warm of a, the warmth of a genuine person, that Onyeka talks with the two sides of her mouth, that anytime Onyeka is telling her something, her spirit just keeps telling her that all she's saying are lies, that she's just you know, not being genuine. You understand that kind of a thing. When he said that, uh, uh, that anytime that Onyeka is talking and start using this phrase, you get, she you get, you get. Just know that all that Onyeka is telling you are all lies. <laughs> hey, God. The way that Onyeka was looking at her. Anyway, Toke Makinwa also went ahead to tell Nelly who is the two people you connect with the most. Nelly said it's Suj and Anita. There is nothing hidden. But the cocoa is that Biggie sent Toke Makinwa to come into the house and let the housemates know that they are boring. What Biggie has not done in this season does not exist. Biggie has used all the strategy to let this housemates know that they are running down Big Brother show day by day. That they need drama, they need chaos, they need buzz buzz. Biggie even did a face-to-face -face nomination. Still yet, nothing happened. Biggie put in parrot reviewed something with the parrot yesterday nothing happened biggie has told a got to you know shake tables scatter everywhere nothing happened like biggie has literally used all his cards but this housemate are still sleeping on the show we all know that in the past seasons the the show is trending in more than 10 countries at a time but this one it's hardly even trending in nigeria to make matters worse some of these housemates are really ungrateful. Biggie brought in their goodies, like their shopping carts. That is the food for them this week. And Biggie reduced the amount of egg that he supplied them. Do you know that Tofa in the kitchen was laughing? Saying that it's like Biggie is broke. Oh. It's like this hardship is affecting Biggie. What kind of statement is that, guys? We all know how difficult that this country is. And you all know what Biggie experienced last week with this housemate. One person will carry three crates of egg and hide it under their drawer. Is it nice? 
it means that there is excess supply of eggs and i think it's not even about the hardship biggie wants to take care of this housemate biggie wants to feed them to make sure they are okay 24 hours light they drink smoothie one person will carry like six apples big big ones those red ones blend it with watermelon add pineapple add many fruits that we know that are very costly in today's nigeria they will blend everything and they will be drinking it as if it's not money that they are consuming like that biggie is trying so that statement that tofa made is very wrong it's very wrong to uh, you know insult your host in his house insult him by because he's providing for you and i know that it's not even about the hardship i think why biggie reduced the egg supply this time around is because there were excess egg throughout last two weeks last week that the housemates can't even finish they they were hiding it in their drawers and all you understand i don't know what you feel about tofa's statement but if tofa is your faith i'm sorry that guy is very annoying he needs to leave that house because at the end of the day he's not even bringing his worst He's not even bringing anything to the show. He's very dull. He's not active in games. He's not agile. He's not active in sports, in challenges. In, in fact, even yesterday, Biggie gave an instruction. Mention two names that you want to leave the house. And you end up, Biggie even asked them, do you understand the instruction? He said yes. He end up mentioning just one name. He's just very laid back. He's just, and he has the effrontery to say that is making fun of Biggie. He's like Biggie is broke. Oh, this one he he's giving us. I don't even know the amount of eggs that he was even saying. Laughing at your host, host, as a guest. Biggie is losing big time. This you know that Biggie pays for pays in millions to Ebuka. Even this token marking when Biggie pays her 24 hours light. If there is no light, do you know how much fuel is? Like some some states are selling 2000 naira per liter now. If he's using diesel, do you know how much it is? He's giving them 24 hours non-stop light. He, he, I don't think Biggie is using Nepa because if it's that we'll have blackout sometimes i think biggie stand stand he's using maybe plant or maybe lister or something like that and they are having 24 hours lives guys they are feeding very well even when they fail their wager they'll still have simu simu and um, draw soup with meat to eat there are checkers custard there are eggs there are there are uh, breads everywhere there are fruits for them to eat they have not gone hungry it's just that whenever they fail their wager the difference is that they will not have chicken turkey they will not have beef goat meat snail periwinkles varieties of proteins varieties of meat that's the only difference but if it's for food biggie is in biggie's rule book that no matter what happens the housemates will not go hungry and biggie is doing all these things and they are running down his business he pays dj to come and play for them in the life eviction sunday and also in the um Bedu saturday night party he pays all these people he makes sure that he runs his show. He pays the cameraman even down to the ninjas. And these people are not just bringing the show. One person last night was telling me that is it, is it a must that the show will be toxic? What kind of rubbish is that? Who is talking about toxicity? We are talking about showbiz. If the housemen are coming in a show like this, they should know. Do something. Prank yourself. In the past season, people even steal brief. You know this brief that Big Brother gives them to read out maybe for their tags or maybe for their challenge or whatever. People steal the brief and everybody's look, even the thief, join in looking for the brief. Everywhere scatter. And the head of house was suspecting a particular housemate and that caused fights. That has ways to spice up. And Biggie don't take offense in all these things because it's ways to spice up the show. We have seen former housemates bring up pranks, even discuss with Biggie for them to prank the housemate just to bring spice and show and drama to the house. And Biggie will oblige them. Biggie doesn't meddle with the housemate um, activities. You can steal the brief. Biggie, will, you can steal Biggie's coin. Biggie, we have seen EK now stealing people's coin and Biggie will not even reveal the stealer or the person that stole it. You understand? I don't know why these housemates are not creative. Even in the boring truth or there, how can you steal Tofa to kiss Anita, people that are in sheep.
it, it doesn't change anything. We have seen them kiss countless times. Twisted, change Tofa with another person, Anita with another person. If the person doesn't do it, the, the person should drink full cup of whiskey so that they will be serious. You can't tell, you can't dare Wani to kiss Sean. Because it's a normal thing for them. They don't know what is a dare. A dare is something that is very difficult for you to do. You cannot tell Nelly to kiss Suj because they are in a ship. These people are very annoying. Anyway, let me know if you think that these housemates are going to get the gist. Are going to get Biggie's message. Because Biggie has literally sent this message in different ways. Through different forms. Through different avenues. But still yet. Otilo, nothing happened. Anyway, let me know your opinion and thoughts about this video down in the comment section. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Love you guys.